Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to downtown Tampa where tonight my husband and I are going to a place called Spain. Now it's normally a tapas place. It's still a tapas place, but they're supposed to have a special menu tonight just for Valentine's Day and supposed to have some um, guitarists playing um, music. So come along for this adventure. I just got pixie fied, pixie dusted. <laughs> All right, I'm about to try one of these Dragon Balls. Oh, oh look at this, she is good! One of the things I love about sangria at this restaurant is that it's not crazy sweet. There's been many times where we go and the sangria is just like all sugar and it's not. It's like they use a real nice red wine and it's got fruit and it's 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 quite lovely. So with the prefix menu, we're getting an appetizer, the main meal, the salad, and the dessert. So we will show you everything as we go along. This is a great restaurant, not just for Valentine's Day. This is a great place for to come for tapas and have a cocktail. It's right in downtown Tampa. I'll show you our view. So this is peppers with like a red pepper sauce. And it's, I believe it's got the cheese inside. And then Evan got the shrimp cocktail. How was it? Good. It looked pretty good, the shrimp. All right, and so this is our appetizer. They give us a salad for us and our appetizer. This dish is so good. It's red pepper and then inside they have I'm not exactly 100% sure what's inside it, but I know it's got, I don't even know how to say the cheese right, vegetable cheese. And then this pepper sauce is a little spicy, not too much where I can't handle it because I'm not a big fan of super spicy things. But all the flavors together is so good. This restaurant has very good food. There used to be a place here in Tampa called Vizcaya, and that was our go-to place, but sadly they went out of business. So um, it's worth coming down here to downtown Tampa to check this place out. So after this one, it will be the main dish. Wow, this is grouper with almond encrusted and asparagus, and I'm, I don't even know what's about, just vegetables it looks like, or like some kind of pico de gallo on top. That <laughs> looks really good. That's the paella. It's got all kinds of mussels and fish. What else is on there? Shrimp, uh, uh, octopus or squid. Oh, there's squid too. It's got everything. Clams. Well, you know how it is? Okay, so this paella is a wet paella and it is absolutely delicious. One of the best paellas we've ever had. And then this, I forgot it has got a pineapple like salsa on it. Um, and it's got um, it's like a pico de gallo. It's got all kinds of like cilantro and um, onion on top of the encrusted grouper. I haven't had grouper in years. So this is the first time I'm having it in a really, really long time. And it's actually very good. For some reason I thought it was going to be on fire when it came to the table. So this has been flambéed in the kitchen. This is going to be uh, a crepe and I have no idea what's inside it. Do you have any idea what's inside it? Oh, a custard, right? It's like an orange liqueur. Okay. I'm about to taste it. Evan thinks that it's been flambéed in an orange liqueur, but we're not real sure. I haven't tried it yet. The alcohol strong. They didn't burn it long enough. <laughs> it's good, but it's strong. <laughs> All right, next up, we are going to uh, take a walk and we're going to go to a coffee shop that Evan says is really, really good. And that's the one great place about coming to downtown Tampa is you can just kind of walk around and see different things. So we'll be coming along for that next. So this restaurant is very good. And I'll leave all the information about it in the description box below. As you can see, I do have my coffee, but it's not at a coffee shop. <laughs> it's in front of my fireplace. It's actually 47 degrees here right now in Tampa. That's cold for us. 
Yeah, we went to go to the coffee shop and the one that we wanted to go to was actually closed. There was one that was near the restaurant that was called a Kava coffee shop. I've never had Kava before, but I'm pretty sure it's nothing like coffee. So we just ended up coming home. I started reading a book called Verity by Colleen Hoover. I have not been able to put that book down. So I finally broke away from it and uh, decided to light a fire because it's pretty cold. So anyway, so it was a really great night. I highly recommend that restaurant. And again, I'm going to leave the details below. So on that note, thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you on my next adventure, which hopefully will be out west. All right, talk to you later, bye.